Niger Delta Militant Group Movement for the Emancipation and the Defense of the Niger Delta MEND has vowed to launch what it called a disastrous reprisal on the faceless jihad, Fulani jihadist group which threatened to invade and bomb Asaba, the state capital and Agbo. The Fulanis of Usman Danfodio leadership which claimed responsibility for the fire incident that gutted the federal secretary complex along Okmanam Road, Asaba, had on Sunday issued a letter with a threat to invade and bomb the state capital, Asaba, and Agbo, headquarters of Ika, south local government area of the state. Niger Delta militant Tife Owolabi, the group gave Governor Ifayim 72 hours to withdraw his stand and support for the ban of open grazing which was collectively supported by southern governors during a meeting held in May and hosted by Okowa in government house Asaba. The threat has however created palpable fear among residents of Delta states. <laughs> the state police commissioner Ari Mohamed Ali has however assured that all modalities had been put in place to foster such an occurrence. Reacting to the faceless group's threat, a Niger Delta militant group movement for the emancipation and defense of the Niger Delta men vowed to launch disastrous reprisal on the faceless Fulani jihadist group should it carry out a threat to invade and bomb Asaba and Agbo if Governor Ifani Okowa faced to drop his stand and support for the ban on open grazing in southern states. In a statement released on Sunday night obtained by Sahara reporters, men threatening to launch reprisals that are 10 times as disastrous as any attack that comes from the so-called Fulani jihadists. Men said the attention of the movement for the emancipation and defense of the Niger Delta has been brought to the threat of some Fulani terrorists who have given a three-day warning to the governor of Delta State because of his support for the ban of open grazing across the southern states. We also saw your taking responsibility for an explosion at the Secretariat in Asaba. We are warning that if your threat is made to come to fulfillment, no Fulani will ever exist across the Niger Delta and all oil facilities linked to a Fulani will be brought down. If one soul is lost, 10 Fulani souls will pay for it. If one facility is destroyed, 10 Fulani facilities will be destroyed. We will respond proportionately 10 times to whatever you gave. The corresponding response will not be limited to the Delta. It may be with your politicians or with your rulers. We will launch three rocket launchers and ballistic missiles at any facility of our choice as a warning in seven days if you make bold your threats. We don't make cheap our threats. We have shut down the country and we can at any time shut down. We are the Niger Delta. We stand for the interest of the Niger, Niger Delta and we will not allow any coward to threaten us. We fight without running. Okay. Okay. Oh. Fire for fire. And there's a place that I, I, I just tried to, there's a statement they made concerning that any full and who owns oil facility. Can you imagine that a Fulani does a Niger Delta person who owns a a what do they call it oil block? Because I think that if I if I may get it right, you can imagine. Hmm. Well, I'm sure the the Buhari administration will not be angry with this. Although, of course, it will not be angry at all. What audacity do they have? These are the things we are talking about. Oh. You want to force people? Do you understand what it means? How many Niger Delta, how many people from the southern part of the country have issued a threat to governors in Kano, especially Kano or in the northern, northern state, northern country, northern part of the country, for destroying, what is it called? For destroying alcohol. Nothing, nobody threatens them. The only thing, the, the people just say, we'll go to court or better see, just leave that area. You will not have an audacity. That's this, this is the flanization we are talking about. Of course, why won't they make such a threat? Because Buhari has said he does not believe in ban, uh, believe on that ban that there must be open grazing. Who is causing the problem? Who is uh, uh, funny the ember of war? Is it not the same Buhari that is giving them that opportunity?
Is it not the same worry? Giving them that, that same opportunity. Well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> well, no, we will take the war to them in the north. And before we finish, they are all back again to Senegambia. Uh, and one thing again is that if you understand now, they are beginning to send their people. Of course, according to what they said when they wrote that letter, they are beginning to tell their people to go back. So you want to go back so that you want to force. Is that, this is fulanization we are talking about. And that is why Buhari himself is adamant. Something that is creating problem and there are other alternatives. Buhari said no. So what are we talking about? When they begin to call Buhari all manner of names, some people will be saying, oh, you don't have to say that. But somebody, a president who is always coming out to create problem, they are making such threats with the backing of President Buhari, who is their person. Who, he, of course, he attests to the fact that he's a full animal and he cannot deny it. So what are we talking about? All of those who are talking about one Nigeria, there's a law that has been, you people are causing problem and you say you must, that, that the governor, that means by the time they, they, they finish threatening the, of, of course maybe they want to threaten one governor, maybe that will serve as a lesson to other governors. That is the meaning of that their threat because I can't really get it. Don't wait for your enemy to cut off your head before you defend yourself. Uh, swarm Swim in uh, swing into action and take them on away. Stop this kind of threat because it is not moving them when they are ready, when they are already in the bush and destroyed and surround you, waiting to unleash their plan. That is why I like unknown government and ESN mode of operation. Niger Delta militants are no longer relevant since Asari Dukubo started collecting money for pipelines guide for the zoo called Nigeria. Niger Delta militants. We knew before are not like these present ones who are always afraid of Fulani Caliphate. Niger Deltans should hold Asari Dokubo responsible for their failing. I think uh, this is where Asari Dokubo needs to put his energy instead of uh, fighting Namdi Kano. I'm even surprised. You said you have already formed your own government, your own Biafra. And I am surprised that uh, this issue of uh, oh, money, Namdi Kano uh, took this money, Man, Namdi Kano collects 200 million, 20 million, and all of that. What is your business? You, the two of you are working together. Coordinate the people that will be working with you. And again, his people have, have come out to say they don't even know anything about what he's talking about. They say, Oh, Southeast is just me jelly for Bia France. Now you are in the South South. Your people say they don't want to be part of Bia France. So I don't even know who he wants to coordinate. You want to leave your own region to go and be coordinating another region. This is the kind of thing that you're supposed to be talking about. Let him talk, let him say something about this uh, threat. He won't say anything. Can we, in all honesty, say that the present day Nigeria fits into the dreams our founding fathers bequeathed to us as a nation? Me, my answer to my question is capital no. Nobody should take these guys serious anymore. These are, uh, they are all interested in pipeline management like the hopeless Asari. It don't say, no tribe has the monopoly of violence. The line has been drawn. Let us see who crosses it first. The present state of Nigeria need the law of moses an eye for an eye empty threat you will turn a blind eye when your pockets are mobilized no one ever takes these data militants serious again they have been compromised uh why things are escalating like this is because those who are at the ends of affairs are purely tribalistic otherwise tell me what it takes to ban open grazing so long as that will stop the killings Herding is a private business, for God's sake. They ought to even be paying taxes. If anyone wants to be head cattle, he should lease a space for it and keep his animals. Buari still want the killings to continue because I see no reason why. Simple thing. And, and come to think of it, Buari himself is a cattle, cattle rearer. And he has a ranch. He has a particular place that he keeps his, his own. So why is it that... He's not encouraging his brothers to be going from places to places and, and destroying things. Even with all the benefits of ranching, they don't seem to understand it. That means there's more to all these things. There is more to it. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this. Thank you.